Hey, Chair Sabaya, good morning. So today we'll try to make the structural analysis part and maybe design for our project. Uh, we'll make a brief review again for the project. Then we'll pass to the modeling and uh, maybe design. So first of all, the given of the project was so it's required to make analysis uh, and design the ICI 318 version 2019 of the code maximum number of uh, group elements group members is five project consists of four parts first one analysis made it on four five points second part design Again, five points, then iterative drawing using AutoCAD, five points, and the reporting, five points. Uh, maybe here we have to be more clear. So for the design, we have different elements like uh, slabs, columns, beams, corbel, uh, stairs, etc. Uh, each time it's required to make, to present, full detailed manual design for one of these elements of the of these families so for example one beam one column one slab one stair one corridor and so on and then as you will uh, use by the end a software you can use this software for the design of all the other elements so for example if you have 10 columns you have to present full manual detailed analysis for one column and the results final results for all the other columns using the software same for the beam same for the snap and so on uh, for the analysis we use uh, robust structural analysis for the design also uh, for safe you can use money for the slabs you can use manual uh, design or by safe for the design of the linear elements like columns and beam we can use uh, robo you can use rcm ACI builder you can use ice as concrete so we'll see during this uh, recording uh, all these steps you have the material data for the material concrete for the steel we have here the data for the live load for the roof level for the office levels for the crane and uh, the wind velocity will be set equal to 80 180 mile per hour so you started the registration the registration of your uh, names in the different groups which is perfect here we have the template of the report so it must consist of a cover page table of content introduction describing all these items manual calculation software calculation detailed drawing and conclusion so first uh, first step will be to discover this uh, to discover this autocad drawings firstly the planner view always when we are working with an autocad file we don't have to edit in the layout menu because the layout menu is a, is a is it may have different scale for printing issues we have to work to add it in the model menu in the model window so this is the model uh, window on the left we have the drawing with the different architectural uh, details architectural and mechanical details and on the right we have only the view for the structural parts structural elements for example, we can see here then the columns, the boundary of the rooms, the stair, and so on. We can notice here that we have here a level of zero meter. So we are here on the ground. On the right, we are at a level of five meter. To be uh, to uh, to understand what what's uh, happening here, we have here section AA passing in the whole part and section BB in the office parts. At the same time, the section BB will cut the stair in order to see the stairs detail. 
to, to also to make relation between the planner and section reviews, we have second AutoCAD file with a section AA. So it's clear here that we are here at the zero level at the ground. And from zero to 10.65, we have only one story, which is the whole, the industrial whole of the building with columns and corbels and on the corbels we have steel beam like a rail beam where a mobile crane will uh, will uh, will act on the section bb we have again zero level here at five meter of level it's the end of the stairs so we pass from level to the second level five meter here we'll have the office levels here and here and then we'll end at the same level as the left part, 10.65. We have different information here. So maybe uh, later on during the course, the RC3 course, we will see later the design the analysis and design for water tanks. It's here interesting to see that we have an example of uh, a septic tank in our uh, project here. Septic tank made of three rooms. So the waste will pass firstly by the first room here. Then the solid waste will uh, will be will be kept here. The water will, will pass from the first to the second room. Then again we'll have infiltration infil of the solid waste waste again. Then it will pass to the third room where maybe uh, all the solid waste will be already kept by the first or the second room. Then the water will pass into the earth where it will be infiltrated and can be used for ag agriculture consideration. So this is the section CC. We can see this section again. Section CC. Where is the section CC? Maybe here. This is the section CC. So at the at the end of the building, because here we have the sanitary installations, the WCs, and uh, all the all the sanitary installations here are connected to the septic tank here at the end and as shown here this is the section cc and it consists of septic tank of three rooms so later on during this course inshallah when we'll uh, cover the water tank part we'll go back to this uh, drawings and we'll try to make the analysis and design for this septic tank using a software again will be a second uh, mini project actually to so to uh, focus on our uh, drawing structural drawing here uh, if we pass the mouse over the plans you see that the plan is made on of only one unit so this is uh, a practice of uh, drawings in order to limit the edits and errors and manipulations on the drawing will assemble all the drawing by the end by one block. Now, if you, are, you have to edit the drawing, you have to explode, explode the block in order to have each item alone or each layer alone. Uh, here we have to discover firstly the drawing which uh, which is necessary for the structural analysis will be only the position of the vertical elements. Here we have only columns, don't have any wall because because it's a warehouse building made only of two walls, two levels. So don't have don't need the shear walls to resist again the lateral loads. The lateral loads are of a minimum effect on a building of two stories level. Uh, so we have to discover the layers of our columns. We see here that we have on in the hole made of one story, 10.65 height. It's made with with a, uh, a big column sections, and in the office levels we have small column sections. If we pass the mouse over 
one of these columns, you see that this column is made with the layer name POTO 0.5. This is the same, POTO 0.5. This is made with a second layer column, and so on. So the matter will be actually to uh, turn off all the layers except these two layers. Uh, the slab here, as shown, is limited by the and by the boundaries of the columns. Don't have a cantilever slab. If we had cantilever slab, it would be necessary to export from AutoCAD to uh, the structural analysis software. In addition to the columns position, the boundaries of the slab. But here the boundary is limited by the edge of the columns. So to, we'll go to, to the layers. We can to simply click on one of them, Control A to select all, turn off all. Then to look to the layer POTO 0 0.5 turn it on and the layer column and again turn it on so now actually we have only the columns it's a co if it's of a common practice to let all the columns being on the same axis same horizontal and vertical axis it's of a common practice and it will uh, facilitate the structural analysis task later. Uh, so I recommend here uh, to, to make the axis of the columns, then to try to unify their axis. If you have two column center lines axis to close, we can unify them with only one axis. We can draw here construction lines passing by the center line of the, this column or to simply a uh, to simply align well, actually the zero layer Default is turn it was turn it off. So this is the construction line I drawn. It will be now uh, better to create two layers, one for the vertical construction lines and one for the horizontal construction lines. You will hear. Vert. Enter lines color let's say red for the vertical turn it on and another one horizontal maybe with a blue color okay very good so i will draw firstly the horizontal lines b c d e f horizontal lines with construction line passing by the center of these columns of these columns of these columns of these columns again repeat passing here Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So as shown, the construction lines, the column center lines here is very close. So as I said, it's of a common practice to unify them in order to facilitate later on the analysis parts in the structural analysis software. So I'm drawing lines passing by the center of the column sections in the horizontal and vertical position. The next step will be to shift the all the columns to the same on the columns with column center lines to close to the same column center line. Actually, this task is over. I can look now here. Uh, to be in the safe side, uh, since it's in the safe side, it will be more practical to say that if we move all these columns to the farthest column center line, in this manner, the span will be increased. And then all the moments, shear, reactions, etc. will be increased and it will be in the safe side. So we'll use this, uh, this, uh, we'll use this uh, method. I will now unify all the columns on this column center line, the farthest one. So it's my uh, point of view. We can say no, we, we need to unify them on a column center line near, near the middle here. To also take an average column center line, or we can take the farthest one. No, personally, I will take the farthest one. It means I will delete this three column center line, delete, and I will move this column, move from its middle to the column center line. This one, the same. So, moving position, starting from its middle to the arm center line. This one is already here. This one is in. I will do the same for the second for the second for the opposite side so I am focusing now only on the horizontal column center line repeat the same concept, same method for the vertical column center line later. Now here uh, I suggest so these two column these two center lines to shift one to the top, one to the bottom, or uh, as you like. So here we have two, we can shift, can keep this, the top one or the bottom one. Here we have three, it's suggested to keep the middle one. We are here on the 
middle center lines so if we shift to the bottom we'll, we'll increase the span here but we'll decrease the span here we are not at the at the edge of the building so for this reason i will take the average column center line and i will unif unify all the columns i will shift them so i am uh, here it's uh, it's not to say so i am shifting here uh, distance of 0 0.1 meter so just 10 centimeter which is something not, uh, not which, which which doesn't have any effect on the structural analysis diagrams we are talking about a span plus or minus 10 centimeter but it's it will facilitate as i said previously the drawing in the structural analysis software So actually we have only four horizontal column center lines for the four lines. We unify all of them on the same column center line. We have here no two for the vertical column center line. We have here only one column center line, one, one, one. Here we have two. Can delete one and keep only one move these two columns to the left here the same can keep only one so in this manner our drawing later will be Cartesian with only horizontal and vertical axis So by the end, we have only one horizontal uh, column center line and one vertical column center line for all the columns. Uh, now we have to take notes on, a, on your uh, book note about the column sections. These are the column sections suggested by the architect they may be enough big enough or not so for example this column that i mentioned left 0 06 times 1.3 so 1.3 meter times 0 0.6 this one was 0 0.5 0 0.8 This one is the same, this one as the first one, this one, this one. All the four corner columns are the same and the six interior columns has the same section. Actually here, you have different column sections, but if you have a brief look, so again, this one, 0, 05, 0, 03. 05, Zero five zero three. So we have we have two families. We have zero four zero three or zero five zero three. But some columns are oriented along the horizontal, like this one. 
and some ones along the vertical like this six ones these are the columns of the staircase so the columns in the staircase region are oriented vertically and all the others here all the others are oriented horizontally the edge ones this one and this one are zero five zero five zero five zero five and this six interior are zero four zero three so these six columns are zero four zero three all the others are zero five zero three these others six one six columns of them these six columns are oriented vertically and all the others are oriented horizontally so this summary is necessary to keep in mind in order to facilitate the task when we have to assign the column sections in the structural analysis software so now uh, we can import in in uh, in etapes we may import the column section directly in robo we have to import the column center line then to assign a column se section on the node corresponding to the column center line. we can take a uh, we can keep the same layer vertical center line or horizontal or we can define new one center lines column let's use the uh, color maybe uh, blue dark blue so to simply we'll draw lines passing by the uh, defining the column center lines We have to check, by the way, that this column center line we are creating by the cross has the same center as the intersection between the horizontal and vertical column center lines to be sure that the columns were well aligned. Actually, we have here the same sections. It will be easier to copy the cross directly. Check again the coincidence between the old and new column center line. Again, we can copy because all the six columns are similar.
after the investigation, they were found similar. Again, check the coincidence between the old center line by the construction lines and the new ones. So actually, the all the columns are set, all the columns center lines positions are set. We have to prepare ourselves to go to the next software, the structural analysis software. Uh, we cannot import in reality this file cannot export this file into the structural analysis software because in this file we don't we don't have uh, only the shown elements here we have this shown elements and all the, the other layers which are turned off so for this reason it will be of a common practice it will be good to create a new file having only the columns And not the columns, only the column center lines. So we can again turn off all. And then turn on only column center lines. Now we have to select these column center lines. Control C on the keyboard new AutoCAD file and Control V again it will be good to specify the insertion point at the origin 0, 0 this file will be saved in my documents let's say new folder where is my new folder here CVLE 422 project drawing name column center lines this drawing must be saved again in a different formula format save as again in the DXF format to be up to be imported or exported to to be up to be imported in robo or to be exported to robo don't close yes yes I will not close this AutoCAD file maybe I have to go back if I have some errors now we'll open uh, our software robot 2019 or 20 as you like the type will be a 3d frame Usually uh, a building is defined by a repetitive floor which consists of the XY plane and the elevation and the axis Z. So the import must be done in the XY plane, not XZ, the by default one. We have to check at the beginning before doing anything. The units, actually I am using the metric units if not we have to click here to be sure so my section dimension is in meters sections in centimeters section property in centimeter etc 
forces in kilonewton, moment kilonewton meters, stress newton per millimeter. If not, we have to change here. Say force in newton and area in millimeter square. Others displacement must be in millimeter. Usually it's by default centimeter. We have to change to millimeter. Material. So according to the given of your project, the given was uh, for the concrete, what what was uh, the type of your concrete? FMC 35. If it's 35, it's okay. Uh, I am using here the British material, just simply in order to have FMC 35. If I use the American one, and this software is developed in the USA, so we'll have FMC 3 KSI 3.5 kip square inch, 4 kip square, square inch, etc. And we have to make the conversion between kip square inch to megapascal. So to make the life easier, I will use the British, which has very similar formulas for the material. So I mean by formulas for the material, for example, elasticity of the concrete. In the American standard is 4,700 square root F prime C. Here in the British will have different formula, but it will be very close. So all the formulas related to the material will be taken by the British code, not by the American. So it's a choice you have to make, or you can use the American. But as I said, for example, American. If you, if you go to the properties of the concrete here, so concrete, you have 24.13, <coughs> which is the 3.5 kips per inch. You can use it, can change for 27.6, 5, 34 point. So we don't have, we not have a, a rounded values. In the market, in the international market, you, you don't have this concrete three, four, five kip square inch. You have the international units, megapascal, and you have 25 megapascal or 30 or 35. You don't have values between them. So I will keep here 35 megapascal. For the steel sections, I will take S355. For the steel uh, beam of the railway of the girl of the mobile mobile crane, it's uh, here. Uh, in fact, the material property according to which center to which standard, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have a big effect on the results. The one which have big effect is the code. So for the important steel design, you have to use steel database. Database of the steel sections. We have the European HEA, HEB, IPN, IPE, and so on. We have, of course, the American, which is W, W16, W18, and so on. American hot roller shapes. We have different catalog: Russian, Indian, Japanese, Dutch, and so on. So each uh, big country has its proper industry and has its proper catalog of steel sections, Chinese and so on. So in, in Lebanon, it's a, of a common practice to import steel sections from the European market or from the Turkish market. So we'll keep the European section database. Uh, for the vehicles, don't have figure here. The, the loads itself, load and load combination, must be according to the ASCE because we are using the American codes, ACI for the design and A ASCE for the load and load combination. If this load doesn't exist here, may load it going to the database here. Use ASCE and add. Uh, soil, bolt. And anchors, reinforcing bar. It's important to use so the reinforcing bar for the RC design. You have to use the ACI, but not the ACI, the ACI metric. This one, and set it by default. 
in order to have the bar diameter in millimeter, not in inch. Design code, again, this one is very important. Design code must be, must be set for steel, the American one, AISC. Steel connections, don't have here steel connections, but if any, actually you have only in the robot the Euro code 3 for the steel connections. We don't have an alternative American code. RC structures, again, the newest ACI code in the database of this software is the ACI 311. So, regardless if we are, are here, if we, we have actually in the market the ACI 2019, but as the newest one in the robot is the 2011, so we have to abide by this one. And metric to have the material, the reinforcement in metric units, not in imperial. For the load combination, you can use ASCA or ACI. It's the same, because ACI combination are taken from ASCE code, and vice versa, because both of them are American codes. Actually, you don't have seismic load, and we have uh, wind load according to the American code, ASC 7-5, we have to try to see if there is a newest one, dash 10 or dash 16, actually don't have an other one, it's the newest in this uh, version of Robo is 2005. Here we have the parameter of the structure analysis, the method of analysis, trial and error, or uh, convergence, or uh, so on. So if you, these are the methods you, you took in the numerical analysis course. So if, you, if these uh, parameters are always the same for all your project, you can save them per default. Each time you open the software, you'll have always the same parameters. Uh, actually, I will save them. So by default, I will have them always each time I open this software. No, we have to import our, uh, we have, so firstly, check the units, check the job preferences, but before, to save the project, if uh, you, you have, for example, any issue with the computer, with the power, with the software, with any, uh, any issue, if you don't have a copy of the file, you will lose all your project, all your work. So save. Actually, we are safe because by default, again, we know that by default, any software make a automatic save every a specific time. So if you have any issue with the file, you will lose here only the last five minutes because the software is auto saving each five minutes each five minutes the software alone will save the file now we'll import import a dxf file dxf background for so this is my folder where i, I saved my uh, my autocad file in the xf format import in the xy plane as i said because a floor of a building is usually in the xy plane reference i am in, taking the file from zero zero Insertion point zero zero on Z axis zero because it's the plane X Y. Any scaling one, so it's the same scale. And to simply OK. So this is the insertion point. The big point here at zero zero. It's my insertion point. It's like a support, but it doesn't mean a support. It means the insertion point. Actually, we have to, we are in the xy plane z equal to zero. We have, uh, for sure, we have different method of modeling. We can say that we'll, uh, we can say that we'll uh, draw a point here, extract them along z, and then draw uh, beams between them. 
we can say that we'll uh, draw beams here then by default this beams has nodes at the beginning and the end and we'll extract we'll copy with drag the beams and the node uh, actually uh, any structural analysis will start by trial sections so we have to measure the distance of the span of the beam here it's around 5 meter, 5 meter, approximately 5 meter if we are in the case of precast, so we simply supported section 5 meter over 16, span over 16 uh, give you the depth of a beam by the ACI code table it would be around 40 centimeter. I will take it 50 centimeter to be uh, because in in practice we'll use uh, always a higher amount of depths than the one specified by the ACI code table. We can say that the width of the the width of the beam would be equal to the width of the column. The width of the columns here is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.8. So I will take this width of the column will be equal to the width of my beam, and the depth I will take as 50 centimeters. So we'll go firstly to the sections. We'll cut, we'll erase all the previous sections. We'll start from scratch, from zero, with a RC beam section, FMC 35, B equal 80 centimeter, 80 in centimeter, and depth equal to 50 in centimeter. And then I will draw elements, beam, RC beam elements between my nodes. Uh, usually uh, any software uh, from Autodesk family has the, the the grid, like these points, it is a grid. So when we'll draw here, the mouse will be dragged to the, the to the grid. In order to the difficulty, so we may have we may try to click here, but the mouse is dragged to the node here to the grid here, and then instead to click on the middle of the cross, you will click just to the right or to the left or to the top or to the bottom. So to avoid this issue. You have to go to view grid and turn off the grid so we can navigate freely in the window. So my beam will start from the cross intersection here. Click on that to the cross intersection here. Sorry, again from the cross intersection here. You will click when you see this icon this triangle icon meaning the center line of the cross to the second so again don't click in the, if you don't see this this uh, icon as well you'll click just to the right or to the left of the center line and you will have troubles later So here, for example, I click it just to the left. I will make back, back, and again. So if you don't have this center line icon, you have to zoom on the cross.
Oh no, we have to draw the vertical beams here, creating the columns. It seems fine. So we have the right part. So check again with the robot. Right part. We can uh, actually turn on all the layers to check again the structure. So we have the right part with the rooms different offices with again columns and for sure beams between them in the two directions here we have void and we have all this hole here made of one one uh, one big uh, hole one big hole with offices and beams between them and actually we may have we may draw beams here beams between the columns we may draw them but uh, in all cases, these these beams or not will be will see will know if we have beams here or not according to the selected type of slab by the end of the project when we have to go to design the slab of the roof. Cannot know actually if we have beams here or not. I will uh, put them and we'll see later on functioning of the type of the slab if we have beams here or not uh, okay it seems good so again in the section view of AutoCAD we had a level at zero a level at five meter with only the offices and a level of 10.65 so this is my level 0 I can actually select all this all this uh, plan and to replicate in order to create the intermediate level at 5 and the top the roof level at 10.65 so when i will replicate i will copy i will copy with drag in order to create the columns it will be good to create the column sections before so with rc column section i frame c35 here we have here different column sections it will be uh, the first one be 130 1.3 meter 60 centimeter 130 times 60 rc column c35 don't have any rotation here rectangular section then we have 80 times 50 And we have 50 times 30. And we have 40 times 30. These are my four families of column. 130, 60, 80, 50, 50, 30, and 40, 30. And if you see here, uh, all these columns are rectangular and the beam is rectangular. Uh, when you when you will do the drag, robot will create an element between the nodes. This element will have a section 
corresponding to your last used section in memory. So if you click here, then in the memory of the software, he will keep this section in memory and the dragon element will be created with this section or here or here or here or, or so on. So it will be easier to let the software keep in mind, in mind the sec column section where uh, this section is, is most used. So maybe it's 550 times 30 or maybe 40 times 30. Again, I will now copy all. I will ask for the, in the edit menu for the copy. Copy move, move copy. So we need to copy here with a drag to create an element between the columns. And the translation vector will be zero, zero, ten point sixty five. One repetition. Okay. Uh, for sure, we have different methods of work. You may work like me, or using any different method as you like. Actually, you don't have beams at the basement level, at the ground level. You have to delete the beams, going back to the level x, y, and equal zero. All these beams are not needed anymore. They were created for two objectives to create the nodes of corresponding to the columns first objective second objective to uh, copy them to the roof level uh, uh, for sure you have to you are familiar with AutoCAD so window from left to right is select selection with a window from left to right is different from a selection with a window from right to left from left to right the entire element must be into the selection into the window to be selected so for example here i am selecting this element as this at the bar here is not entirely into the box into the window so it will not be selected but from right to left you have just to to, to uh, be in touch with the element in order to be selected. So we'll use here the selection from right to left because we don't need to delete the nodes, the nodes six, five, six, eight, etc. We don't need to delete them. If you delete them, it, mean, it means that you are deleting the columns. So as you are in this, in this plane, it will be interesting to select now all the nodes and to assign them a fixation support now you have your columns as mentioned previously the this icon means the insertion point of the autocad drawing not a support it's likely it's like a support but it's not a support i know all my uh, structure is made of only one level One level, ten point sixty-five. Uh, here, I will select. I will select uh, the bars here, and or I will select all the bars. Like I said, all the columns, and I will divide them into two elements. In the edit menu. Uh, divide into two parts into and part two parts and the rate node when I will divide so two equal parts actually the office levels is at five meters so it means for example this node must be at a height of five 
if you look to the depth to the elevation of this node you can go to the node window for example the node 63 64 65 are at 5.33 they must be at 5 so before editing them I will identify on my book note the node numbers of all these elements going back to start we can we can uh, take a better view to see to see all these nodes so for example a uh, view xz xyz equal 5.33 so using the global working plane clicking on one of this node and asking for the x y plane so all these nodes must be where at 5 not 5.33 the so node 60 61 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 70 1 2 3 4 5 4 so from 60 to 74 i am writing on my notebook from 60 to 74 60 61 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 70 1 2 3 4 and then 79 to 82 at the same time it will be interesting to edit the position of this node so going back to my planner view to my section view this nodes must be at the corbel level so corbel level is at the level 7.4 meter 7.4 for node 56, 7, 8, 9 so 56 till 59 7.4 meter and 75 till 78 well, actually the node 60 And 79 must have two levels, two levels. So the column here has a corbel at 7.4 and has a beam at 5 meter. So don't know if you are uh, focusing with me because the column here will support the crane girder so by a corbel at 7.4 meter and at the same time it support the slab here at 5 meters so this column must have two levels 60 and 79 must have two intermediate node node 60 and node 79 must have two intermediate node at 5 and at 7.4 let's proceed step by step so going back to the three-dimensional view it mean this element 69 67 sorry must have two nodes uh, how we can proceed okay proceed as I said step by step again global working plane so I identified the position of the, the node numbers I can go to nodes and so node 60 to 74 60 74 with a multitude of 
زائد 5 متر exactly Sixty one, sixty two, Seventy nine to eighty nine. Seventy nine. Don't have eighty nine here. So seventy nine to. Eighty two, seventy nine to eighty two. Five and five. These are at five meter now fifty six to fifty nine. Fifty six. Fifty-nine at the corbel level seven point four meter. And seventy-five to seventy-eight. Okay, great. So at this level, X, Y, again, at this node, asking for X, Y plane, 7.4, we, we have this eight columns, eight corbels, and at this node asking for the x y plane five meter we have the we have the all the columns at the five meter plane corresponding to the office levels so it means that we moved correctly the nodes to the appropriate position now at the roof level we have beams we can ask for the deep view x y X Y D view. Select the beams here, 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 here. All the beams, and copy them to the level five, five meter. So copy without any drag. Copy without any drag from this position to this position so again if we ask for the view at this position x y view z equal five we must have no we must see no the nodes and the beams which means that we are working correctly Still, we have to deal with this column here. We have to create. As you see, if we click on this column or this column, it's made of only one bar. If we highlight the bar numbers, they are only one bar. Uh, because when we ask it for bar division, we should ask for 
we should deactivate this option because we need to make bar division as it was not done we need now to select all and to ask for intersection in order to create different elements so for example here we'll have two elements two elements so we have to create different elements for each part okay so numbering is up is updated having a new numbering and now as i said this bar 25 must be divided to two elements then at the node created at the middle will be shifted to the level 7.4 same word for the bar 19 so bar 25 i will divide division to two parts so we have now two parts 45 45 44 45 same for the opposite one two parts no node 7 and node 83 must be at the level of the corbel at 7.4 so node 7 and 83 must be ed edited node 7 must be at 7.4 and node 83 be aware to don't click anywhere here because if you click you will assign a support supports are all, all only on at the ground level so no node 7 if you make a click a global working plane on the plane to see the x y z equal 7.4 so we have the 10 columns or the 10 corbels corresponding to the 10 columns here 1 2 3 4 5 10 so it means that actually we are working correctly i hope you are working correctly still you have to create the corbels so seeing again the section view the depth here the span of the corbel is equal to 0.5 meter so we have to create here a cantilever beam with a span of 0.5 meter actually this beam must be created just to to apply the crane load or to apply to apply the rail beam then to apply the crane load on this rail beam but uh, this corbel will not be designed using Robo it will be designed using a specific software like RCM ACI build but we have uh, to create this cantilever beam to apply the rail beam and the crane load later on so this node we have to create an RC beam, any beam, RC beam from node shown here, 75. We can here look to the coordinates and to copy the coordinates adding on y 0.5 copy to the same coordinate but with y the old one plus 0.5 so 1.15 by this manner we created this cantilever beam uh, for sure here uh, again different method we may go 
go here and to us to go in the y 0 0.5 No, it will, this will not work in three dimension. So we'll, be, we'll use a safe option manually. For sure, you could uh, copy this element. Copy. From here, seventy five to seventy seven, and from seventy seven to seventy eight, and from seventy eight to seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five corbels. And you can, you can uh, duplicate them by the mirror option. If you like the mirror option, or you can generate them again manually as you like. I will try the mirror here. Vertical mirror, this is for the three dimension, this horizontal and vertical mirror if you are working in two dimension. The plane is defined by always by three points, one, two, and three. So the elements are created. We have to check if they are really linked. So here you see they are not connected to the same node. So we have to be careful. It means that the mirror is not exactly in the middle here. So for this mean, I will cancel this step and I will repeat this, uh, the creation of the corbels manually. Again, beam from node number 56 having this coordinates to the same node having same coordinate but y minus 0 0.5 45 So copy from node 56 to 57 57 to 58 58 to 59 and from 59 to 83 Actually, the geometry is over. We have here the hole with the slender columns, with the corbels, and we have here the office level at so 0, 5, 10.6, 0, 10.6 with the corbels. So geometry is over. Uh, still need to, it's not completely over. We still have only one element, which is the ray beam, the steel section connecting the corbels. I explained before how the crane load. I will not repeat this explanation. So we have to see on the AutoCAD plans what about this C section. C section is like an HEA with a depth of twenty millimeter. So we we'll try to use an HEA two hundred. And we'll see by the end in the design if this section is adequate or not. We have to define a section steel 
for the European catalog HEA HEA two hundred with the material three hundred fifty five megapascal yielding stress of three hundred fifty five megapascal. So this is my beam steel beam and I will create a beam H A two hundred relating so connecting the corbels. This beam is a Dutch beam. Uh, we, we didn't uh, talk about uh, column sections. They, they were uh, created just by the drag option. We didn't check their section. Uh, actually, the corbels, I use a Norsi beam section for the corbels. But the corbels, in fact, they have a width equal to the column width here, 0 0.5. Projecting from the column, 0 0.5. So as you, man, as you may, may observe here, that the Corbels here are too too wide, are wider than the columns. So we have. I will trust. I will start by, with the adjustment of the column sections. My four columns here at the four co corners. I will look to the deep X Y view. This node with the corresponding column. This node with the corresponding column, control this node and control this node so it means I am selecting these four columns and the four corners has a section of 130 times 60 I will check if the section is well oriented, yes in the big side is a long Y again, deep view XY The six interior columns here. One, two, three, four, five, six. As a section, an intermediate section of eighty times fifty. Again, we have to check if the section is well oriented. Big side, big side is a long way, so it's okay. Regardless, if the column here is made of two units, but by the finite element method, we have here full continuity between the node, between the member five, member. In the number 5 and 4, we have full continuity. Full continuity here. So it means it's the same element. So we have here full continuity of the translation of the rotation of all, all the, all the, all the freedom or all, all the degrees of uh, freedom here. They are fully continuous to the node number 5. So regardless if we have here two elements, they are acting in finite element method like only one element unless you you will uh, specify a release a certain release a certain release of the uh, continuity 
a certain release of the continuity we are not assigning other release here so by by default they are fully continuous so in, they will act exactly like one column okay so again in the same objective we'll assign the good section for all the columns no uh, if you remember at the beginning i said that these six columns are similar 50 30 oriented vertically so these columns i am talking about these columns so 50 times 30 oriented vertically Fifty thirty. Is there oriented vertically or not? Yes, they are oriented vertically. It's oriented vertically. The big side is along the y-axis. No, again, x y d p u still have this one this one this one this one and this one so seven they are again this one this two and this one again they are 50 times 30 but oriented horizontally 50 50 times 30 oriented uh, horizontally so it means that, that I need to define a new section instead 50 30 30 50 30 50 and one two three four five must assign a section with five elements uh, 30 times 50 and as shown edit a new window this uh, column has a big side along x-axis still have the interior columns with 40 times 30 one two three four five six forty times thirty we have to check if they are well oriented here the big side is along y and in autocad the big side is along x so it means that we have to rotate these columns or to simply to inverse 30 30 to specify 30 40 instead yes overwrite so now the columns are well oriented we have the long side is along the axis x so now Again, to make a summary, all the columns are well defined, has a good section, all the beams are was set, was affected attribute, a trial section, and uh, corbels, logically a corbel has the same width as the column, so has, here it was affected a beam with a width of 80, I will create a new beam for these corbels having, having a width of only 50. RC beam B of 50, let's say H equal to 50. I will assign a name Corbel. It doesn't mean that it's a Corbel, but just to keep, to memorize me personally that this, this is a Corbel section. Actually here, I will uh, try to select them uh, in a practical manner so going using the global working plane setting on x y that equal to 7.4 these are my four corbels 
I will select only the chord wheels without the notes. Selecting the notes mean that I am selecting the column. Control. Always my personal uh, practice is that I I go back always to the three-dimensional view in order to check that my selection is good. Then these elements will be as affected the corbel section. You know the corbel has the same width as the column. So again, checking up all the columns are well assigned. The corbels, the beams. Uh, I think that everything is fine actually. We are good to pass to the next step of loading. I will take a pause in order to limit the size of the video. So I will stop here and I will go back later.